when he when he did the work in the moat, he'd come around and he said, "Right, you boys, come on, get over here and collect some bloody stones and do something useful." And we all used to go and chip in and go and help him out of an evening. I mean, we, that was when we were going to school. But we still, he had a way about him that he got you there and he said, right, come on, you know, and that was it. But he, I used to meet him on, through working at the garage. I used to serve him his petrol and his car and he had a Triumph Stag and he had a Citroen, I can remember these cars. And uh, he was really, and I always remember one instance, he come to the garage one day and he was very pale. And the chap has worked in the garage by the name of Harry Birdie said to him, what's the matter with you then, John? He said, I've just had a very harrowing experience. He said, he was coming up from Monmouth up around the Lays Bends. And one of Wynne's lorries, big low loaders, was going down. And they used to have men stand on the stepper of the cab to, to you know, to direct traffic and what have you. And he said, a lorry come round the corner, he said, and smashed into him, he said, and smashed the bloke's legs. And he said, I've just amputated that man's leg on the side of the road. Yeah, he said, if I hadn't amputated his leg there and then, he said, that man would have died. So that's the sort of chap he was. But then again, he was a naval doctor, so he knew he'd had wartime. Yeah. Well, you say about he was a surgeon in the Navy, Yes, he was a surgeon, yeah. Where he ran one o'clock. Oh, yeah, well, I... When I was driving, when I was when I come twenty one, I started driving the lorries like, and one one night, I, I Daph was with me. We were, were going to Northampton with a load of sheep, and we we're going up to Cheltenham, and something stung me on the hand, flew into the cab. So, and by the time I got to Northampton, my hand was about three times the size it should be. Of course, left hand changing gear and everything, and the lady at the farm, she looked after, did put something on it, and anyway, by the time I got back home, it was a bit. I was 12 in the in the night, I was in absolute agony. So Daph rung Dr. Esco, this is up as 12, one o'clock at night, we're talking now, mate, and told him, he said, tell him to get to the surgery now, I'll meet him at the surgery. And he met me at the surgery there, and he gave me a, an injection, and he looked at it, and he said, some of the dirty ass has stung you. He said, that was his words, and that's how he spoke. And yeah, so, as I say, I would never have a bad word for Dr. Esco, and I wouldn't want to hear anybody else have a bad word for him. Because in my mind, he was one of the best. Pity he wasn't still here now. <laughs>